Well, it's the last day of Holiday Horses, so happy holidays everyone, and I hope you have a good year. Now, for this day I wanted to go over something that I didn't have a chance to go over last year. So, come with me, I want to show you guys something. You see, for a while now I've been collecting these. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic video games created by the fans to be played on a console. And today, we're finally going to open them and check them out. Because I give you My Little Pony video games. I see a cold wind blowing through. Now, a few of these pony games are just slightly modified versions of already existing games that someone took from a ROM hack and imported it to an actual Nintendo cartridge, which ended up on eBay where I happened to stumble upon them. So, I'm going to turn on that TV, put the game in that system, sit in this chair, and play them the old classic way. The first game we're going to play is Dr. Pinky. I like how they put it on a bright pink cartridge. It matches Pinkie Pie well. There's really not much to say about this game other than it's just a reskin of the original Dr. Mario. The only programming changes that were made were that the viruses were replaced with Parasprites, Dr. Mario was replaced with Pinkie Pie, and the pills were replaced with cakes. But since this is Pinkie Pie being a doctor, I just imagine her shoving cake down every pony's throats to make him feel better. Overall, it's a pretty okay game. Up next we have is Discord's Conquest. Now, there are a couple copies of this game floating around on websites with different covers on them, but they are in fact just the same game. Anywho, Discord's Conquest is just an easier modified game of Mega Man 3 with different levels and characters, but with ponies. You play as pre-Alicorn Twilight Sparkle. You pick a character, go through their stage, and then fight that pony, kill them, take their power, and then go obliterate the next pony with it. The ponies you face off against are Princess Celestia, Pinkie Pie, Trixie, Rarity, Princess Luna, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, and Fluttershy. Then once you beat all of them, you get to go take on Discord, who's really not that challenging at all. There's really not a story to this game other than Discord returns again and Twilight has to stop him. That's kind of lame, so I decided to create my own little story. Discord comes back with a vengeance. He puts a non-reversible, mind-controlling spell on the characters, which causes them to go crazy and attack everyone. Twilight Sparkle and Spike are the only ones left in Equestria and have to save it. To do that, they have to face their beloved friends and put them out of their misery by gaining their power, sacrificing themselves for the fate of Equestria. A little dark story, but hell, this is a really fun game. I suggest picking it up if you suck at Mega Man 3. Up next we have is Pony Quest, and out of all the games, this one is the most original. I purchased it from a vendor at BronyCon 2015. It came with the game, a custom My Little Pony NES console, and a map slash strategy guide to help you with your quest, which is... Twilight Sparkle messed up a spell and sent herself and three of her friends a thousand years back in time to the past, and were separated from their elements. They must find the elements of harmony and get home safe. The game is heavily inspired by Final Fantasy, with the same gameplay elements where you fight enemies, get bits, go to towns, buy spells and items to upgrade your characters, and then go fight some evil bad pony character that is causing chaos throughout the land. My only complaint is that the game gets way too hard way too quickly. After you defeat King Sombra, you get a ship and sail to the Griffin Kingdom. They throw a curveball and get you killed by changelings, again, 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 and again. It got to the point where I got so frustrated with this game that I actually contacted NPC Nintendo, the developers of this game, and had to ask them for help. I would love to show you the ending of this game, but I suck at it. Now, we're going to move up from the 8-bit graphics to the 16-bit graphics with the Super Nintendo Pony games. What do we have here? Equestria Bound. Now, at first I thought this was just going to be a pony version of Earthbound, but with some minor My Little Pony aspects thrown in. But no, there are actually a lot of new things involved that aren't in the original Earthbound. How do I know this? Because a dog that was possessed by one of the developers told me so in-game. 
I haven't played the original Earthbound due to it being $150 more than this $50 pony game. In this game, you get to play as Dinky Hooves, the daughter of Derpy Hooves and the sister of Amethyst Star. The story is Princess Luna confronts you with her dying wish after being stepped on by Diamond Tiara's mother. Yes, that actually happened. That it is up to you to save Equestria from evil. Along the way, you team up with the Cutie Mark Crusaders and encounter weird pony characters that are trying to stop you from completing your journey. The dialogue is pretty funny to read, and a lot of the characters are represented really great. I want to keep progressing, that way I can see which characters from the show actually made it in. I already had a boss encounter with Trixie and her fanboys, a changeling disguised as Pinkie Pie trying to kill me, and Tom the Rock. Yes, Tom the Rock trying to stop me from saving Equestria, and I still got a whole game ahead of me, but it's time to move on. Now we have come to our last game, which is My Little Pony All-Stars. If you haven't figured it out from the title, this is just a pony version of Super Mario Bros. All-Stars, which includes all three updated versions of the original Mario Bros. games. One, two, three, and the Lost Levels, which is just Super Mario Bros. 2 from Japan. Let's see what this game has to offer. This game is 100% derpy approved. And we have our title screen. You gotta love the original character right there. The first game we're going to try is Super Pony. The plot of this game is that Garble the Dragon has captured a handsome male stallion. Vinyl Scratch, aka DJ Pwn3, and Octavia have to travel through eight worlds to save him and go on a date. So, is Octavia just the third wheel in this date? If you save him with Vinyl Scratch, she gets a kiss from him. The same thing also happens if you save him with Octavia, she also gets a kiss. So, in other words, this guy's just a cheater. Up next we have is Vinyl and Octavia Side B. The plot is pretty much the same as the first game, but this one is way harder, so I'm not even going to attempt it. Now we have Pony Pokey Panic. You need to stop King Sombra from giving all the ponies of Equestria nightmares. Princess Celestia has Twilight Sparkle enlist the help of Sunset Shimmer, the great and powerful Trixie, and Derpy Hooves to defeat King Sombra and his evil forces. Okay, that is the most random set of characters you could choose to save the world. And the last game is Super Alicorn Sisters. Lord T-Rex has teamed up with Equestria's most notorious villains to wreak havoc on the different pony worlds. Princess Celestia and Princess Luna go on a mission to save the day. Besides the characters, there are no other big changes to the actual games. In Super Pony and Super Pony 2, the mushrooms were replaced with muffins, and the fire flowers were replaced with whatever this is. In Pony Pokey Panic, some of the bosses were changed to My Little Pony villains, like Gilda. Birdo was replaced with Steve and Magnet, and the Shy Guy's masks were changed to the Anonymous masks for some reason. Heck, they didn't even bother to change some of the names for the characters who were actually being played. Yes, thank you for this item, Twilight Sparkle, who is named Princess Toadstool. Oh, come on! A change of text could have easily fixed this! Well, those are all the My Little Pony fan games that I happen to own. I'm sure there are a lot more floating out there somewhere, but I just wanted to say thank you all for watching this little Christmas series. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year's, and Happy Holidays. I will see you all next time.